Hello everyone, uh, Echo Thief here. Uh, this is now episode five of our uh, Echo's gaming commute. I was actually not gonna be able to do a gaming commute today. I was actually gonna do do the video in like my closet or something or like in my apartment somewhere because I wasn't gonna go out again to do deliveries, but I ended up going out again to do a couple more. Um, and I'm gonna call it an early day actually because I did a couple in the morning. So I'm gonna call it an early day um, on, on working. It's Saturday, so whatever. Uh, that's my excuse. But um, um, hope everyone's doing well. Um, forgive me for ingesting this poison. I'm about to um, uh, inhale. Um, so in the gaming world, um, first, um, I want to talk about a couple, a couple quick things. Um, and this is just kind of a fun thing about hunting grounds, but pardon me guys, Ilphonic uh, posted a photo on Twitter of in, in one of their offices, uh, it's snowing at one of their offices locations. And <clears throat> basically they posted a picture of a snowman and they had like a, they must've cropped in like a predator in there. And it was kind of a funny little joke, but the fanboy in me or the, um, enthusiast in me wants to think that that's a, that's a clue that we're going to get a snow map. Now, I don't know if that's going to happen. I don't know if, um, that's just fan speculation that's been going on. I, I, I think there are a few things that back that up. I think there was a screenshot of a map overlay at one point that somebody found through data mining. Um, and, and forgive me if, I, if I'm forgetting who that was that, that did that. Um, but they did, you know, the fanboy in me wants to believe that they're throwing us a, a hint or a clue saying that we're going to get um, a snow map coming up. I think we all are expecting a new map at some point, but I don't know when or what. But anyways, it's on it's on their Twitter. It was it was charming, I'll say. Uh, you're very charming, Ilphonic. Um, but uh, no, we love you guys uh, tremendously. Um, in other news, um, hmm. before we do that, I want to do something. Um, I before the last episode, I, I started saying that you guys can ask questions uh, for me to answer on the show, which I think is a cool, really cool, great idea to do, and I'm happy to do it, and I'm glad that Moose um, um, had a few questions for me and and is participating, which I really appreciate. Um, anytime I get that kind of participation, um, it really makes me happy and, and makes me feel like I'm building something, uh, a community of sorts, so, um, so hats off to you, man. And for anybody that comments or likes my, my videos, guys, it really does matter to me that this this is liked by somebody out there. Um, <laughs> but uh, especially on this awful Valentine's Day that I'm experiencing uh, alone. <laughs> but another story for another day. Let me pull up his question really quick. I'm going to change the camera really quickly here and go to his question. Okay, so his question is, what do you think the game needs to survive? I think this will be the deciding year, sorry, trying to drive, of Predator Hunting Grounds. I just think trying of what Ilphonic can do is make the game really flourish and not only bring former players back, but welcome newcomers as well. I really want the game to succeed because it has so much potential. I can think of a few things that would improve um, obviously wishful thinking and development are in two different dimensions. Improve the QOL. Um, okay, so that's a great question, actually. Um, I'm glad my camera didn't shut me off while that was going on. I was worried that last time I, I was making a video, I, I tried to go to another, t another um, window and it screwed me up. Anyway, to answer Moose's question, um, what do I think that hunting grounds is going to require to really flourish. I think, I think what's going to need to happen. Well, here, here's the thing. Let me, let me, let me just put a disclaimer out and say that I think that hunting grounds is, and will always be a, a niche title, meaning that it's never going to have 
uh, grand commercial success. It's a very niche title for a very niche fan base. Um, so I don't think it's ever going to have that kind of universal appeal in that way of flourishing in that respect. But to flourish as a game within our community that we love, I think that um, we just it we need better content. We don't, you know, it's nice to, to, that they keep up with it to, to give us content. Um, they try to give it monthly, but they've obviously the new year and things like that. They haven't given us a whole lot except that update, which is fine. But I think what's going to need to happen is that um, they're going to need to produce um, some content that is exciting. And I don't mean another character drop. I mean, those are fun, and I like them, and, I, and I'm glad that people are excited about uh, Isabel. I think that's really cool. But that's not going to keep people playing the game. Um, I think we need a new map. I think we need a new mode. I think, um, I, I, I think probably most importantly, honestly, the most important thing that needs to change is we need to have a progression system. Or we need to have either we need to have a better progression system, or we need to have um, a rank uh, ranked matches. I really think ranked matches would be fun, and would would, would give people more of a, a reason to play, um, to kind of brag about where they're at. Um, you know, so I think that would be a really cool thing. And progression. I mean, I've, I've been level one hundred and fifty for months and months and months and months. So it's it's um, there's nothing really to grind for. And I think in a game like this, you want to have something to grind for other than cosmetics. You want to have something that you can, or not even just to grind for items or things, but to grind for the credibility, right? To have the bragging rights, to have the kind of elite kind of feel that, you know, you get when you, when you put a lot of time into a game, you know? And I think that would, would bring the game, at least within the fan base and people that, the niche community that we are, I think that would bring it to a another level and I think it would um, infuse the game um, in a way that it really needs it right now I think right now it's I don't want to say it's on life support I don't think it's on life support but I do think that it um, there hasn't been a lot there hasn't been enough going on with the game to make me want to go out and tell somebody to play it and I don't mean that in a mean way I just mean that in a way that there's nothing about the game right now, at this current moment, um, that warrants really getting excited about. And that might sound harsh, and maybe it is, but um, I'm saying this in a constructive criticism kind of way. I don't mean this in a cruel, crude kind of way. I mean this in a passionate fan way, and, and, and also just not a fan, but also just a critical thinker, and someone that wants, wants this property to do well. Um, I'm saying with that respect. So, and I and I'll say the same thing about Anthem. I've I've spoke I spoke at, at links um, about my criticisms of how BioWare's handling Anthem. That's on my other my other Twitter page and my other channel. But um, I'm very vocal about criticizing, but I make sure that I try to make it constructive, or I try to make it at least come across that way, because I really do want to be um, helpful rather than hurtful to Ilphonic and the, the team they have and the game. So I want the game to do well. Um, I hope that answers your question, Moose. Um, if you guys have any other questions, please ask me. I'm happy to talk about even, you know, questions about stats, questions, not stats, questions about balancing, questions about technique, questions about um, uh, loadouts. Uh, get real geeky with it, guys. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Uh, bounce some ideas off of me. Um, I love talking about this kind of stuff, and so, um, yeah, let me know. It's, 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 this has been a fun thing, so I'm going to keep doing it. And with that, guys, I think that's it. And, I, and I, as far as game news, I don't really have any game news right now outside of the hunting grounds realm. I don't think there's anything out there that's, like, I saw something. I don't know. Sorry, I'm lab slacking on news today. Um, I'll get better at that. Um, but another plug, quick plug. Um, play Destruction All-Stars. It's really fun on PS5. Download it free. It's a PS Plus game for the month. Check it out. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with it. But with that, guys, that's it. I love you guys. Remember, if you're part of the Echo family, you are family. We love you, and we'll catch you next time, guys. Thanks.